What's up, sons? It's Blind Ron with Sava Tech once again, and welcome to the second episode of Mining Rig Wars. If you would like to make a submission, please check out the submission link in the description below. Last week's winner was Dio with the rig Incognito in a clever filing cabinet, and if you guys have not seen that episode, check it out up here. Congratulations to Dio. We will be doing the finals, not next week, but week after next. And for the viewers out there, if you guys want to vote on a rig, just click the card up here in the corner when it pops up, and it will have a list, a poll with all of the rigs in it. Please vote there, and then we will determine the winner that way. All of that aside, let's start episode two of Mining Rig Wars. Starting things off for us today, we have the Outback Crypto Rig submitted by John. It features a Gigabyte GAEP45DS3P, wow that's a mouthful, LGA775 motherboard with a classic Q6600 CPU, 6 gigabytes of DDR2, and a Corsair RM850 Gold power supply. In this, he's also running dual Sapphire R9290s. One is water-cooled with what appears to be some sort of shaker that you use at the gym as a reservoir. Pretty clever there. And one is air-cooled. The total hash rate currently is 61 mega hash a second. Moving on to rig B, we have Sidcat by Alex. He's rocking the Biostar TB250 BTC Pro motherboard with two Corsair VS450 power supplies. He has four gigabytes of Kingston DDR4 memory. He has a Corsair Force LS 60 gigabyte SSD. He's running the Pentium G4400 and he has two GTX 1060 WinForce overclocked, addition three gigabyte graphics cards, and two RX 570 gaming four gigabyte graphics cards with 120 millimeter deep cool fans to keep everything passively cooled. The total hash rate reported is 93 mega hash a second. Next we have Rig C by Sam, and I'm going to call it Sam because he didn't give us a name and this is a wall a literal wall of gpus this is pretty neat i like this he is running an asus prime z270 motherboard with two m.2 adapters on that motherboard a single 1200 watt hx 1200i corsair power supply that powers six of the cards and a secondary 500 watt power supply for the two rx 570s on the top right in the picture. He's using 007 version risers, eight gigabytes of 2400 megahertz RAM, and the classic, I say classic, the ever so popular G3930. His total hash rate is 233.4 mega hash a second. Rig D is going to be from Tia, and since there is no name for the rig, we will affectionately call it Tia. It features seven RX Vega 56 with a Vega 64 BIOS flashed onto them, Intel G3930 once again, eight gigabytes of G-Skill Aegis memory, an Asus Prime H270+, Plus, two Corsair HX1000 power supplies, and a nice little 120 gigabyte SSD to back everything up. The reported hash rate here is 297 mega hash a second. The enclosure is super awesome. I dig it. I am curious what the temperatures are like. I noticed that there's a filter on the back of this and I'm wondering how that airflow works out because the cards are quite close together and my Vega 64 runs hot as hell. Finally, we have BZ by owner Jimmy. He's rocking four MSI Armor 470 eight gigabyte cards with an H81 Pro ASRock motherboard, 
It's a cheap set of eight gigabyte memory, a Corsair CX750M power supply, and he's rocking an Intel Celeron G1840 CPU. Everything appears to be mounted on a custom made aluminum frame and his hash rate is 100.5 mega hash a second. Before you all go, be sure you click up here and vote for your favorite rig, A through E, and we will determine the winner that way. Thanks everybody for watching. Don't forget to tune in next week at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern on Saturday for episode three. As always, I will see you next Tuesday.